hear for the first time that hunger is prevailing in Gaza. More and more people haven't eaten for one day, two days, three days. A stark warning from the head of the United Nations Agency for the Palestinians on Monday. Philippe Lazzarini and other UN envoys demanded an end to the war as they headed across Egypt's Sinai Peninsula to the Rafah crossing, the besieged Palestinian enclave's only entry point for aid. Days after Secretary General Antonio Guterres warned that thousands of Palestinians were simply starving. He warned of an implosion of order as hunger spreads and Gazans who haven't eaten for days loot aid distribution centers and stop trucks on roads to try to find food for their families. The suffering is fueling fears of a mass exodus to Egypt. This is what Lazzarini said he saw on his last visit to Gaza. Most of the people are just sleeping on the concrete. Winter is here, we have sewage water, they're struggling to find clean water, they're struggling to have uh, uh, food, and that was two weeks ago before the offensive in the south. Gaza has been under a full Israeli blockade since the start of the conflict more than two months ago, and the UN says too little aid is getting in. The war has driven most of Gaza's 2.3 million people from their homes. Gazin said people forced to flee repeatedly were dying of hunger and cold, as well as bombardment, describing desperate attacks on aid trucks and sky-high prices. Gaza health authorities say around 18,000 people have been killed in the crowded enclave and conflict is intensifying. Mossab al Kalut is caring for two seriously injured sons alone. His wife and daughter were killed when their home in the Jabalia refugee camp was bombarded. They've sought shelter in the European hospital in Khan Yunus. There's no treatment, no medicine and no food in Gaza, he says. If they don't die from the war, they'll die from a lack of food, from hunger. After the collapse of a week-long ceasefire between Israeli forces and the Palestinian militant group Hamas, which controls Gaza, Israel began a ground offensive in the south last week. It has since pushed from the east into the heart of the city of Khan Yunis, with warplanes attacking an area to the west. On Monday, militants and some residents said fighters were preventing Israeli tanks from moving further west through the city and clashing with Israeli forces in northern Gaza, where Israel had said its tasks were largely complete. This is uh, really uh, uh, a tragedy, and uh, it has been too long. We have uh, uh, suffered too much. So for the Security Council, definitely uh, to maintain peace and security is our primary responsibility. And uh, we have tried very hard, and of course, we, we need to do more. It's one time to see it, it's, it's worth 10 briefings. When you see it with your own eyes, when you visit the hospital, when you, when you see how the humanitarian assistance is being, is being uh, basically, basically prohibited to enter, to enter Gaza despite, despite the catastrophic situation, dire situation of, of the Palestinian people in the, in the Strip. I think that I hope that will translate into into a, a meaningful resolution that would facilitate humanitarian assistance to Gaza. But as you as you understand, and that is the outcry of all the humanitarian agencies, uh, they they say it correctly, and that's what we've been saying since then day one that no humanitarian poses will will save the situation. Yeah. 
on leading humanitarian ceasefire, which should be should be as soon as possible, as eloquently was said by the representative of the U.S. just a few minutes ago. <laughs> Thank you.